If it's small graffiti, perhaps even on a painted surface, or it's on things which cannot be painted out, such as powder-coated signal control cabinets, pre-painted fencing or cladding, real estate or road signs, and this graffiti positively must come off without damage to the underlying surface, then we use our sensitive surface graffiti remover. That's the one with the blue label. Simply pour a small quantity into a small plastic bucket and using a nylon paintbrush, apply it to the graffiti and agitate as if you were writing with the brush on small areas at a time. As the graffiti dissolves, wipe it clean with a damp absorbent toweling cloth and turn the cloth over with each wipe. Some graffiti will dissolve and wipe away almost instantly, while thicker or older spray can paint and wax crayons may take a little longer to dissolve. You can speed up the process a little by slightly agitating the graffiti with a soft white scourer, or alternatively by letting the sensitive surface remover stay on the graffiti a little longer. Sensitive surface graffiti remover penetrates and dissolves the graffiti, thus suspending it, enabling you to be able to wipe it away cleanly without the graffiti redepositing itself back onto the surface. After using sensitive surface remover, you may find some ink pens and especially red spray cans are capable of leaving a shadow or a stain. This is easily fixed by brushing felt pen fade out onto the surface and leaving it to do its work. When you're satisfied with the results, wipe the surface clean with a damp cloth or rinse off with water. Sensitive surface graffiti removal represents between 20 to 30% of graffiti situations. And if performed as instructed, should be fast, inexpensive and totally environmentally sustainable. Did you realise that it's actually possible to eradicate up to 80% of graffiti in your own neighbourhood by using two simple techniques? First one, paint it over. Second one, brush on and wipe it off. How easy is that? <laughs>